Okay guys, welcome back. So last time we left our uh, final project at this stage, more or less, where we um, wrote this function to merge um, the PDF files in a folder in a single file. And we created also this, uh, let's call it utility function. Uh, it's not uh, one of the main four function of our application, but it's one that will help us achieve our uh, goals. So we will write more of these functions um, to help us uh, to do the tasks that we want to do. So the next step that we have is actually to work on this compressed PDF uh, function so the number three of our application and we can start by uh, let's see uh, so we have a few PDF files in here and if we list uh, the content of the of the sample files we can see that we have let's see an output which is more human readable miss the space so uh, I mean all the PDF files that we have are quite uh, small in size but we might be able to um, reduce uh, their size a bit more we will see otherwise I will uh, look around and find the PDF files which is heavy and uh, we can compress it and to check just that our script works correctly. Uh, so let's start by thinking what we have to do with this function. So the first thing is going to be of course um, take the script that we have on my blog um, the cost script that we have on my blog let me quickly browse to that let's see um, Let's see what we got. Mm, misspelled cost. And that was there. It took quite. Okay, that's the blog post that I wanted. So let's check what, what is the um actual code that we need to use to compress a pdf file so that should be it using the go script to compress a pdf file so that's it so that's the file the script that we want to grab and let's copy the script in here only one line Okay, that's the script that we want. Um, like for this, uh, the previous function, uh, for this one, we want uh, the name of the output file that we typed here in the command and the name of the file that we want to compress. So, Uh, we can have two parameters here in this function. Uh, the first is going to be um, output file and then file to compress. So that's our, these are 
our two parameters and we need to replace with placeholder these two file names and then we use the format method on the string to um, actually use our two parameters so output file which is the first element so output file and then um, file file to compress okay so we are getting there so our function is taking uh, its shape so that's the script that we want to run and then we need uh, we're passing uh, so we can delete the pass and let's think about what we want to do again i guess like we did in the previous uh, bit we want to split this script and actually uh, output a list of um, the command elements so can do can split split and what we want to do is split the script actually so it's not that the thing is the script and we want to um, split each uh, of these elements uh, separated by space so every time we um, find the space we want to put the elements in the list as list elements so this one is going to be one element and the other one and so on until the end so that's going to be our command let's print command and see what we get format so that's just a print statement to uh, debug uh, our application so, so to see what's going on if we have the right command so what we need to do here is hmm, this is the script that I will command more than script I mean this is the command that I will run okay let's call our application from the terminal Okay, so we want to select option 3 because this is the one we are working on and it's not going to open anything I'll show you I tell you why in a second it's going to show us the same um, set of options because we need to add another if block here so let's say if option lowercase it's going to be option three so if we have option three let's call our function compress pdf where is here so we call this function and this function as we said wants two parameters we should uh, start uh, writing some comments to explain what this function do uh, do in a bit uh, so compress pdf it wants two parameters so we have a file file name is going to be for now an empty string and the output file is going to be another empty string and let's put that here it's vice versa i think so output file and the file to compress now uh, if we go this function uh, we should see this print 
print here, this print function that outputs, this is the comma that I will run. So we can at least check what's inside and let's write a file name, um, a random file name, this is not a real file name for now and the output that we want is gonna be Okay, that's going to be what we have. So the file name that we will um, select uh, for the compression is going to be this one uh, and the output file is going to be this one. Let me put this down so we have them in the same order that we have in the function. Call and let's try it again. Let's quit the program. and let's clear the screen a bit so you can see what i'm writing and then now up uh, i'm using a shortcut anyway uh, i write the first bit of let's do it again so you see i'm write dot and then slash and then i write a i type the a and i press tab so um, the file name um, it's completed automatically uh, as you see here, uh, the only file name with the start that starts with an A is the app.pi. So that's the file name, that's the entry file that we have. So let's run again and let's press 3. And we have seen nothing. Why? Plus three. It seems that it's not printing the command that we want to run. Let's check if we made a mistake. Yes. We forgot to put the placeholder here so we don't see any output. So the format command obviously won't work if it doesn't have anything, um, any placeholder where put the uh, our variable so let's run again our program and let's type three and as you saw this is the script that we will run and that's that's quite correct for what i can see so the output file is going to be sample uh, underscore compressed um, dot pdf and then the file that we want to compress is going to be this element in the list so the last element in the list and so that should do the job that we expect it to do and we will see some edge cases in a minute but for now let's try to run our program use our command using the sub process command So scroll up to the function number three and instead of printing it, I mean, we can leave it for now. You can use um, sub process run and between parentheses, we will use just the command uh, variable. We will just type it uh, because as you know, they run uh, the sub process um, dot run method uh, wants a list so this command holds, holds the list for us the one that you saw here that you see here so we are fine and good to go and that should run our command but we need to make a few changes because I can print we can use another print function here and say done for now we can write more uh, and we will do that in a minute so now uh, if we scroll down to the if block that we need let's collapse some of this text that we don't need it okay so now uh, what I want to do is actually um, change these two.
Why? Because I don't actually need to pass anything in there, but what I want is that the user types its own file name. So let's cut this, let's cut all this and say input and then within parentheses let's write something like that okay we write something like that and we say to the user type the output file name for instance we have a sample underscore compressed.pdf and now we leave a space so the user can type and then here we will do the same thing okay here we cut that we use the input function and we say Okay, In, actually, actually that's not uh, quite correct. Mm. Because, uh, I mean, what if the user doesn't type anything or what if the user types the wrong path to the file so this should be like full file path and file path tap the path of the file tap the top in the path of the file that you want to compress and then here we want just the output file name this way we ask the user a question whether or not he wants to I mean we ask the user uh, the name of the file that he wants to compress and the name of the final file so let's try it three and so now we need to type the name of the output file let's say let's write the same thing And then the name of the file that I want to compress. In this case, I'm running the application from here, and the files are here. So I should say probably uh, sample sample files uh, all in PDF. That should be my file name. And let's see if it's working correctly. There is an error. Uh, of course, the file has been saved in the root folder of our project instead of in the sample files folder. And let's see, we got an error, exit code one, and I know why. Let's see the actual code that is running. Okay, uh, so sample files and forward slash all in sample files okay so the command should be fine let's see our command so the sample out the output file is correct and of course since since we did not output the directory it's saving the file here in the main folder is here uh, we don't know if it's smaller or not of the previous one we can check it i will do that in a minute uh, so unrecoverable error exit code one so it didn't compress actually it didn't compress the code but it it's 
it's running the uh, command correctly because it's printing down here so let's see above mm, so it's printing down so this command has been run and we know that the command is correct uh, let's see let's quit the program type ls i'm using minus a so it's human readable so the sample file that we compressed this one weighs 2.2 kilobytes and let's see inside the sample files sample files uh, all in what was its weight it, its weight was 51k so it quite did the job because we had 51k before that's the file that we compressed and that's the compressed file that we have now but let's see if it actually has the contents in it so let me open that in file explorer let's see if we have same content so the file seems empty that's why of course it's smaller than the other so it didn't work uh, let's see why so we have our script we split the script so we got a list then we pass it output file and file to compress name is there um, let's see hmm. what we should do um, let's move up here and make some changes so this function this function here prints this command and i also want to see our file names so let's have the new prints function i'm compressing the file and then we have the file name uh into the other file name that the user types so um it's gonna be uh, inverted now so we use format and then we have file to compress and then out the file so we should have a new message that tells us the name of the file and the output file where we are going to place this and then it's running sub process run and then the command that should be correct let's uh, let's run again our our application tab three and then let's say let's add this time the path so that's the output of the file compress pdf and then the name of the file that we want to compress 
it's gonna be all in dot pdf and it's going to be always inside the same folder okay well, do, do we get an error again let's see I, I can't see any error this time let's see our debug lines so this is the command that I will run. So that's what we wrote here. And we should see the correct output. So our command split as a string, as a list. So from a string to a list. And that's the file that we want as the output. And here we have the file There is a mistake here, I'm quite sure I typed the correct name, no. I typed twice the same name, let's, let's run again that. So uh, we type 3 and then sample files, compress, dot pdf. That's going to be our output file, and then here I want to type all in. I'm quite sure I did that before. So that's our file that we want to compress. Okay, it's working correctly. As you see, we have page two, page three, page four. Um, let's see, so our debug lines, this is the command that we run and that's correct. So we have the compressed file and then the all in file and it says I'm compressing the file, sample files all in .pdf. So the file inside this folder into the sample files folder compressed .pdf and then it's running the ghost script, script and it's compressing all the four pages that defines inside the PDF file that we uh, selected and then it's printing this line done which is the one that we wrote to make sure that our program runs successfully we could add another another catch here for any error in case this doesn't run correctly uh, we might do that later for now let's just um, cover the basics so it's it's working and we have a compressed uh, .pdf file inside the main folder the sample file folder sample files folder and let's see if actually it's smaller than the other um, let's list these files quite the same let's um, let's add a an H flag so this is 51k and this is 51k so there wasn't I guess there wasn't much to compress in this file so it, uh, it didn't compress it I mean it was fine like that. Uh, I'll look uh, for a bigger file to compress. Uh, let's see if I can find something. Mm -hmm. I'm looking into my um, my documents to see if there is a file that I can use to test our script, a big file actually. Um, let's see.
390k let's see um, looks like I don't have any big PDF file right now uh, let's see wait wait I got one um, I have a book or we could try to compress one of these yeah we could try to compress this uh, my professional certification uh, from Google so this um, this one we could try to compress this one so let's copy that inside the folder of our application in here okay so the file is now here I know that we have to remove spaces from the file otherwise it will see it as two different elements when we convert it into a list and we need to uh, tackle this problem and we will do that probably when we are about to finish our project so we will uh, make the final touches so we have this file which is, which is uh, roughly 342 kilobytes so let's try to compress it and see what we got so tab 3 and I type um, and I type uh, the name of the output file okay that's gonna be the name of the output file oops oh uh. PDF. So that's going to be the output file, and then we need the name of the file actually. We need, let's see if we can copy that here. It doesn't seem to be working. Let's write the name three M T A S Q E J U K R nine dot PDF. Hopefully I wrote it correctly. Nope. God cannot change that. That's problem probably that we need to fix. I mean, we cannot uh, we cannot uh, delete if it goes on a new line. I'm not sure why. I will have to research a little bit. And then um, sample files three um t a s q e j u k r nine dot pdf so hopefully i wrote it correctly and let's see it's compressing uh the file and we have a new 
cert underscore comp dot pdf the one that i wrote and let's see let's quit the program and let's list using the h flag the content of the sample files to see if it's now smaller than the other so that was the original file it was 342k and the other file the one that we compressed is this one and it is 284k so our script works correctly uh, despite there are a few bugs um, like if we um, write incorrectly the um, the name of the file here and the one we save it as a pdf and there is a space in the file name it will uh, split the name and it won't of course recognize the file name because it won't be there it will not exist so that's going to be one of the things that we will figure out when we will run our tests and another thing that might be problematic of course is this one that we have to type um, the name of the path twice i mean i find it actually boring to have to type the name of the folder where the files are located and then write the name of the file we might have to find another way to do that uh, but for now, I mean, it's working, so it's a good starting point. Um, we could do another couple of things. I mean, what we could do is also, I mean, for now, we could do that immediately. Uh, so we have uh, the file to compress here, and then we will have an output file here. So we could say after it run this command so we could say something like i mean inside the print inside the final print done um, i have compressed the file um that's first so we could use the get sites if i'm not wrong of the os module uh so let's see os get sites no os path get sites yes and uh, we type the file to compress here and we should get the sites so the sites of the source file so the main file that we want to compress i'm going to call it the source file sites so that's going to be the initial file size so from can make it better but I will just do that now to see if it's doing its job correctly so and then now the destination file sites uh, or the output file sites output file sites could be like this one again get sites and then we use the output file so in the first line we check the sites of the file that we uh, wanted to compress so the initial file sites and then we have the output file sites here this variable which holds the value of the final file uh, from to uh, we could do that and out file sites okay now uh, we are quite again okay, ready to go uh, we could okay now you have to type that i don't want to type that let's rename so it's 
quick and easy <laughs> and let's remove this one because we need we know it's going to work so now let's do that let's run again our application and uh, type 3 and he asks us the output file name if I press enter he let me it let me move forward uh, without uh, typing anything here so I want to check here probably we will do that probably somewhere here we will check if this uh, where is this output file name is empty so in case it's empty we will assign a default file name so probably the same name of the input file that the user ha has to uh, type of course because otherwise um, our program won't work I mean we could have another test another test case and um, tell to our program what to do in case the user types even here nothing so you see we got an error because it says file not found error so we could catch this error and uh, redirect the user back to this um, the previous state so if this is empty you need to keep going and ask again to the user uh, the output file name and the input file name so we will do that in the next video uh, if you like the video uh, leave a like uh, leave a comment if something is not clear and i'll see you in the next video mm, take care guys cheers